I came here to see the democratic process in first, for, first, first hand. Uh, so I wanted to see what's going on. And I no voted for Mitt Romney because I don't think he's the one to debate against Obama. How is he going to debate against Obamacare if he's the one that made a health care mandate, mandate in his state? So how is that debate going to go with Obama? It's going to be like, you believe in mandates, I believe in mandates. So wh where is the democracy? Where is, where is the difference? Where, where is the choice for voting? So who are you thinking about supporting? I'm thinking about Ron Paul. And I'm how thinking, I made up my mind. You, okay, so why are you voting for Ron Paul? Because he's someone who believes in the Constitution. He's like the only person who's serious about cutting spending and not just uh, projected spending. That's why I'm voting for him. Okay. And, and he doesn't change his mind every two seconds. He doesn't say what people want to hear. And is, what is the most important issue for you in this election? For me, the important issue in this election and every election is the Constitution and limited government. I'm from South America. I know what big, what government, how government works. Here it's a little bit better, but the incentives are the same. So uh, whoever is going to have less government, that's my guy. And I care very much if Romney does not get the, the, the doesn't win the primaries because he's going to distort the message of the right. If the right believes in how it is, so uh, uh, Ron Paul has a very hands-off uh, idea about uh, Iran that concerns me very much. But in terms of Israel, as a proud American and as a proud Jew, I think the relationship between Israel and America should be a relationship of equals. And Israel is a good country, it's a successful country that they should be able to do without American charity. And if Jews want to, or, or Christians or whoever wants to send their money to Israel, let them do it. There's no reason to tax them and to force them. And I spoke many times with Israeli Jews, and I tell them, what, what is the logic of having a two-state solution, you know? They, they're just going to, that's what the Arabs say, it's just one step in the war, and they, so they have indefensible borders, and they, they'll be able to attack you more, better. So they tell us, at the end they tell me, you know, you're right, but America will never let us. So, obviously, America has the Israel's best interest at heart, but I think having a relationship of equals, that, 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 that will work better for Israel too.